Now back to the Bob Huggins Show. Welcome back inside the WVU Coliseum. Jeff Coyle with Matt Hawsworth. You know, Matt, earlier this week, this place was absolutely rocking. I don't care if they said there were only about 8,000 mm -hmm. fans here because of the weather. Those 8,000 fans came in and supported these Mountaineers. But there's something new to the game day atmosphere this year. You've always had the pep band. You know, you got the cheerleaders, the dance team. How about a turntable? Yeah, a lot of universities are starting to do this now, you know, bring in their own DJ and just to liven up the place a little bit. And that's exactly what West Virginia University did, approaching DJ Dollar. He's a senior here at WVU. He's from Ghana, actually, and he absolutely loves it. He was stunned when the university came forth to him and said, hey, we would love you to do this. And he thinks uh, this may turn into a career after all. Take a look. College athletics have become much more than the actual game. It's also about the fan experience, which is where WVU Sports Marketing Director Markeisha Everett enters the picture. I pay very close attention to uh, trends in, in the sporting industry, especially kind of at the, the collegiate level as well as NBA level, and looking for uh, production, you know, value, what are they putting on their video boards, what's getting people going, that sort of thing. But also always looking to see how we can tie in pop culture trends, you know, with the stuff that we do within athletics. And that led to a DJ. DJ Dollar, to be specific. The senior majoring in business administration has been spinning records for the past few years. But the chance to be the official DJ of Mountaineer basketball? Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, sure, you know. I, I have a lot of big goals and dreams, but this this wasn't one of them. I never I never thought about this. So as soon as she said I'm from athletics, I was like, well, this could be good. But you know what? I, I, I accepted a challenge because I knew I could do it. So the next time you're at the Coliseum and find yourself busting a move, think of DJ Dollar spinning the tracks in the corner next to the student section. He doesn't play all rap. He doesn't play all pop, that sort of thing. You know, you'll you'll come in a game and you'll hear him play some old school 90s. You'll hear him play some some rap stuff. You'll hear him play some earth, wind, and fire. One thing I've learned in life is you gotta have several plans. Plan A, plan B, plan C, and up to plan Z if you, if you need to. So my first option is to go full-time DJing, but then I have a second option of using my degree in business administration. And Jeff, it's funny, this DJ thing has led to a 20 and six overall record at this point. So I'd say it's worked out pretty well, not only for DJ Dollar, but also for this university. Yeah, give him all the credit <laughs> in the world. I mean, he keeps these fans on their feet, mm -hmm. even at breaks, at timeouts. You know who had a lot of fun at this game this week? Do you know who was in the stands? Oh, I think I know, actually. This guy won a Super Bowl last yeah, year. Yeah, he had the he bling was, on to prove it. He too. was in a Super Bowl this year. <laughs> We're going to have a little bit of what Bruce Irvin yes. was doing in the stands for West Virginia <laughs> University and a number of other updates around WVU Athletics. Stick around. We've got that coming up later in the Bob Huggins Show. Stay with us. There's more coming up from Coach Huggins.